Alex Garrett. Time after time, time after time, year after year, as a matter of fact. Thank you, Cindy Lapper, for this gem. But year after year, time after time, what do we have around this time of Thanksgiving and then the holidays and Christmas, the new year, Hanukkah? It is Time Magazine's Person of the Year selection. The list includes, let me just start there. The list includes a doctor, a nurse, first responder, health worker. They really should be the number one to grace the cover. Biden, BLM, Anthony Fauci, WHO, President Trump, Greta, Thunberg, Alex, AOC, journalists, Pope Francis. Hillary Clinton still on the list. Boris Johnson on the list. CDC on the list. But this year to me is not even... I don't even think a person was the most influencing. You know why? Because people didn't listen to everybody, right? People, not everybody listened to Fauci. Not everybody listened to Trump. Not everybody listened to Cuomo. Not everybody listened to the CDC. So who had the most important influence in 2020, right? Time Magazine is all about (laughs) influence. And to me, that influence is none other than that little object. That little two-word object that has stricken this country with debate on either side. I'm talking about the surgical mask. I'm talking about the mask. If you wanted to pick out one of the most powerful things or people or objects of 2020, I would slap a mask on that cover and leave it at that. Because by putting the mask on the cover, it would effectively say we still need to wear them. It would also acknowledge how much of an influence that little mask has had. Somewhere down the line, we started to politicize a mask, a surgical mask. A surgical mask that our fine health workers would use day in and day out in the COVID suites across the country. A surgical mask that really could have allowed you to do everything you wanted because, look, a healthy environment in this time is one that's masked up. We we cannot deny that. A healthy environment is one where we are currently masked up. I do not want it to be permanent. But I also do think those who choose not to wear it, especially in tight quarters, is not not smart, not too bright. But the levels, the depth to which what this mask meant or what not wearing the mask meant had the biggest influence in 2020. For instance, you were ashamed if you didn't wear a mask. You were called a Trump supporter, even though you may not have been. You were called defiant and everything like that. Of course, President Trump didn't really wear that mask, and then he got COVID after making fun of Joe Biden for wearing the mask on the debate stage. And it wasn't just on that grander stage. We'd see videos of customers at Costco and other places yelling they didn't want to wear the, you know, stinking mask. Causing a ruckus. I saw a store take away a purchase from someone refusing the right, which they legally can, 
because I didn't wear a mask. I don't agree with the idea that if we go along with it, we are sheep. I think we're just being smart if we wear the mask. I don't agree that if we wear the mask, we're letting them take over control. We're being smart. It has nothing to do with control. But I could see the other side too. About liberty. About requiring. Why should we be required? Why should we we be mandated? America doesn't mandate. That is personal choice. That is personal freedom. But 220,000 plus deaths later. And a pandemic still on the rise. There is more evidence by the day. That wearing a mask in at least crowded situations is worth it. It should be required. Now, how about this? Remember what the original premise of the mask was? The original premise of the mask was that if you could not maintain six feet or more distance... Well, then the question really does become, how did it go from that original basis, that original executive order, law, whatever you want to call it, to you must wear a mask all the time, or if you don't, you're you're part of the problem. I don't understand the correlation between telling us the original intent of the mask and moving the goalposts on it to shame people. I, I still don't, to this day, on November 28th, understand that goal posting going on there because as far as I'm concerned if you are six feet away you should be with in your right not to wear the mask but if you have to be in tight quarters of course wear your mask I was nervous for realtor workers on Thanksgiving that they'd have to deal with idiots then too not wanting to wear the mask Because who would want to spend their Thanksgiving getting yelled at by some guy or gal who doesn't think wearing the mask is important around people? Who would want to spend their Thanksgiving doing that? Or good or Black Friday even? And I have to research this, but I, I have to believe that not wearing the mask and that mask in general led to injuries, led to arrests. Maybe even deaths. Well, obviously deaths. If you didn't wear the mask, it did lead to deaths. That that important that important little object, that surgical mask or N ninety five mask that we all had to wear and have to wear. If you didn't, you might have very well contributed To the lives lost. So do wear your mask. And because time is such an influential magazine to this day. I mean people literally are betting on the time person of the year. Physically I hope they really do pick a a doctor, a first responder, a health worker. I think they deserve all the praise in the world. As I've said before. More so than the armchairs, if you will, deserve. I'm talking on the ground doctors that we need to recognize right this very minute. And time and place. If they were to be acknowledged and honored, that would be amazing. But, ultimately, if you're going to go a leadership route, or an expert route, I would advise against it. I would say, okay, well, there was no good influential leader that we thought should deserve it. So we will put the mask on the cover as our year-ender. To bring awareness. To bring about the story of what the mask did to this country. The shaming it brought. The death it brought by not wearing it. The... 
the death attached to not wearing it. The influence of the mask in this whole thing. It's only sensible. Time puts that on its cover. To send a message. And to send a powerful recap. Of how vital that mask is. Because, you know, all these leaders, they said something in March and April, uh, in February and March, only to turn around and say, we have to lock down. And we were told, oh, we didn't know the difference back then. We didn't know what it was going to be like back then. So we just said, everybody don't panic. Now we're telling everybody to panic and wear masks and all that. Leadership did not do a good job. And no leader, let me say that again, no leader, not even President Trump, Deserves to be on that Time Magazine cover. Save that space. For the mask. Detailing why the mask is so influential in today's world. We must function with it. And we must accept that we need it. On buses, on subways, in the workplace and elsewhere. That message has got to be at home for those who still don't believe in wearing a mask. And how do you do that? You put it right on the Times cover page for anybody to see. Republican, Democrat, Independent, just an American trying to live through this. They see that Time magazine cover with a mask on it. And they say, oh... We get it now. We get it now. So it's a weird hat to throw in the ring. I know because it's not a person. But this leads me to my other thought. How much influence did objective terms, did objects have on society more so than people? What I mean by that is People contributed to the virus, there is no doubt. But so too did that little nasal swab. To define whether you were a positive or a negative. I mean, that swab changed the course of a lot of things this year. Changing the course of things now. You know, these swabs get tested all of a sudden, positive, Ohio State's canceled. All of a sudden, the 21-star game for basketball is canceled. All of a sudden, the Ravens don't know what their situation is. All of a sudden, the 49ers don't have a home because Santa Clara is declaring no contact sports. That little swab has done the world of difference. To tell us the truth, about how bad the virus has spread. And to effectively tell teams and tell organizations and tell employers how they should presume activity to the most normal they can. Now, I'm not saying any of us, I'm not saying we aren't to blame for the rise either. I'm just saying for the human psyche to see a mask on the cover and just that alone might give the impression that it's important for those who still feel it isn't. It might give the impression that, oh, wearing that mask is a big deal. Even Time Magazine said so. And it might be the sign that we say, okay, this is how we beat coronavirus we mask up and we do it to the point where the COVID positivity rate is way down by the way it looks like the biggest Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa present we're going to get is the vaccine FAA saying that they have started shipments flying the shipments of vaccines into America 
Get ready, folks. It's here. Vaccinations are coming. It is like a the British are coming moment, but in a positive way. So the vaccines are coming from Britain, I believe. And so, how would you react? Alex G in NYC at gmail.com. Uh, dot com, my website, Alex G in NYC.net. How would you react if you saw that mask on the front page and nothing else? Because to me, if you see that, it might get a little intimidating. I mean, I never want to see us in masks full time. That's not who America is. America. But for the temporary time being, till we get the vaccine, till we get it ridden of us, get, get rid of, we must do what it takes. And right now, masking up seems like the most viable thing out there. And so, don't always listen to the leaders that could be nominated for this thing. Listen to stories of the mask. Listen to how it does work and how it doesn't work. Get more informed on it. And I think that would also help if the Times, if the Time magazine put the mask on the cover it would lead to a bigger conversation of why it helps. I think right now there's still this emotional toll of, oh, you don't wear it, you're a Trump supporter. Or, oh, you wear it, or you're a sheep. We got to get rid of those emotional overtone undertones. Get rid of them yesterday. And say, yes, here is why I'm wearing a mask. In step-by-step -step detailed formation and information. And time could provide that. And if I can have a little pun fun here for a moment. The Time magazine cover for the end of the year is that. A mask and only a mask. Might help us bide some time. Till this vaccine fully is effective. And kicks in for everyone. So Time Magazine, you want to be an influencer every year? You want to pick the most influential people and have the most influential cover? I can't think of a bigger influence than what the mask has had on this country. Almost has been a dividing point too, oddly enough. And you always like to put the controversial. Well, that is controversial. Because for some it's controversial to say you have to wear it all the time. For others it's controversial to say why should I wear it all the time. So maybe it's Time Magazine's duty now. As I have the nominees out for their cover of the year. Time person of the year. Maybe this year it's the Time Object of the Year. And if there was that, there is no doubt which object that would be. Mask up, stay safe, enjoy football, enjoy family, enjoy Thanksgiving weekend, whatever's left. And of course, don't forget to tune back here at Alex G in NYC dot net. Alex G in NYC at gmail dot com. Time Magazine, adapt your cover from a person to an object just this year. And you'll truly be known. For the place that recognizes and honors the influence, human or non-human. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon.